guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be playing the newest racing horse game there is, and that is called Rival Stars Horse Racing. So today I'm going to be racing horses, training them, breeding them, and even collecting some homestead. So let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm going to collect my homestead. I did upgrade it the last time I played. I have been playing this for a while now. I'm on level 6. I'm not the greatest. And I don't have the best horses, but I really do enjoy playing this game. And I really love upgrading and racing the horses. Alright, so now that I have upgraded that, I can collect my income. Which, I have a full amount of income ready to be collected. And now I can go back to the home screen. So I also upgraded my full link soul stables the last time I played this game. So I'm going to go ahead and collect that and breed a horse because I have been waiting to breed. So here are my full link stalls. I have six horses but seven stalls so I do have a stall ready. Now that I have a tier 4, I can breed a level 4 grade horse, which is really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and breed my horses now. Alright, so um, I really like that stallion right there, Chocolate Eggma. Ooh, and then there's the same stallion. They're not exactly the same color. Oh, that's really pretty, but I don't have enough coins for that. And then right now I have maximum minute in the stallion slot. So, Butterface is my newest stallion. And then Major Sunbeam. And Delightful Descendants is my most popular stallion that I race a lot. But I think I'm going to race or breed Butterface right now with probably Chocolate Eggma. So I don't know if I can do this or not. Okay, so I need some more standard speed feed. So I'm going to wait to breed. But I really love Chocolate Eggma and I need an hour to get that before he disappears so I'm hopefully going to be racing so these are my six horses if you guys are wondering I have absolute courage major sunbeam delightful descendants is my one that I have leveled up to 10 out of 10 so she's my best but her face crush creation and maximum minute we're going to go ahead and go back and see if any of the horses need training or if we can go ahead and race. Alright, so I do have some goals in mind. I think the only goal I have left to complete is train a horse to level 8 speed. And then I can get some more goals. But I'm going to go ahead and race. So I would like to upgrade some of my lower horses. So I usually go to the lowest race I just raced. And I will race them till they are the best in the group. So right now it says Delightful Descendants is obviously the best. I don't know why it won't let me race another horse. I'm going to go back. So I would like to race another horse. Um, this might not be... Oh, I know why. So this is not the... First race, I want to go ahead and go to this, Three Oaks. So I'm on race three of Three Oaks. So she is the best out of the odds, so I don't need to race her. So Absolute Courage, I need to race. And then I think that's it. Yep, Absolute Courage. So I'm going to go ahead and race her. And we'll see how well it, everything goes. I don't have the volume turned off guys, so if you can't hear the racing, that's why. I really hope she gets a good number to start with because she is not the best to race with.
Alright, so she got number six, which isn't the best. But it's okay. Uh, it's better than number nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get a good start with her and get her right to the rail because she does like to be in the front. Alright, so my start was just a teeny bit too late. But I am gonna try to get her right to the rail. And I'm trying to push her against these two. So she got a pretty good start, even though she was a little too late. But we still have about 900 miles to go. So she should be able to reach that finishing line at the end of this race. And I'm gonna let her sprint charge fully during this race so that way she is ready to go. I usually sprint them at 200 miles to go. That way they are ready and full. Her sprint is still charging. I really wanted her to get on the outside but I don't want her to waste any of her sprint. And I would have to kind of get ahead of these horses to get on the outside so I'm not sure what to do. Alright, so she's doing really good. It's right about time where I'm going to... Oh, wow. Okay, so it just let me get on to the outside. And now I'm going to go ahead and sprint right about here. So these horses are kind of in my way. So I'm going to go ahead and take her on the outside. I don't know what's going on. Oh, my gosh. I have not been even sprinting. That was really bad. Okay, guys. So the thing was, my finger was on... The place where to speed her over to the outside and I didn't even sprint so I got her in seventh place without sprinting which was pretty good I'm surprised um but I would have liked to get in first um that is really below her odds and that was really stupid of me so I'm gonna go ahead and race her again and then we'll go ahead and get started with the next one so she's at five out of five and she is a level one horse I could train her and probably get her up there. I'm not sure if I should do that or not. I might go ahead and go train her because I really don't want her to be losing anymore. She has lost enough. All right, so let's see if she needs any speed training. She does. She's at her maximum potential right there. So I'm gonna train her for the next level of sprint training. All right, and then I'm gonna also train her for the next level for sprint energy. And then we will go ahead and train her for acceleration in two levels up and hopefully she won't have to race that up third race of three oaks again because with her training I think she'll be best of odds anyway and I don't like to waste their energy on training them but as you see I don't have much gold so I can't really do that much but I do like to check out the horses on the market that are for sale so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then I'll probably race her again or see which horse needs race next So there are some market horses for sale. Ooh, there's lots of them. I really love Dreamer's Silk. That is such a pretty color. Same with Identical Macklin. The Stallion. But I don't have enough gold, like I said. So I'm gonna go ahead and race her again and then we'll see how things go. All right, so let's go ahead and race her. And then we'll see if we need to race another horse or anything. Oh, I clicked on the wrong race, guys. So let me go back. This is the level four of Three Oaks, the fourth race. I think she'll be ready for the fourth one, but I'm not quite sure and I don't want to take a risk. I always like to race them to their fullest potential, hopefully. Okay, so absolute courage. Here she is right in here. And she's actually capped, so that's really surprising um, since she lost that and was not best of odds before, but that's also really good. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the fourth race of Three Oaks, 
and we're gonna go ahead and race some of those horses and see who needs race. So this is my delightful descendants. She's not gonna need race. Crush Creation does not need race. Absolute Courage is capped again, which I'm really surprised. Um, okay, Major Sunbeam does need race because he's only the second person in the odds. Um, Maximum Minute's gonna need race, and Butterface, I think, is gonna need race. So we're gonna go ahead and do a Maximum Minute, and we'll see how he does. I hope he gets a good start because he was the lowest of all of them and I'm not sure how well he'll do if he goes in the back. He does like being up in the front just like the last horse I raced. As you see I only have six horses so I'm not that great at the game yet. I have been watching YouTube videos of other people playing and they are like really up there. I don't know if they pay to get gold to get better horses or not. But I am not going to put any money into the game. I just like to play for fun. So he got the same number as the last time, six. So I'm going to go ahead and try to get him in the front right away. But we'll see because I'm not that great at timing the little arrow thing up here. Okay, so I got a perfect start, which was really good. I'm going to definitely take my brand here and try to smudge him up against the wall. As you see, I'm not very good at smudging up against the wall right away. So he's in fourth. Probably going into fifth by the time he's time to sprint. Maybe not. Oh, wow. He's really gaining. Okay. That's really good. I'm not sprinting because I don't want to sprint just like last time. This time, I'll be sure to sprint. It doesn't matter where on the track I'm at. I'm definitely going to sprint. So, these horses are really pushing him off the wall, which is not the greatest because he could do so much better if he were on the wall. But, that's fine. We don't need the wall. Um, so we're about 700 away, and then we're going to go ahead and sprint pretty soon here. I am guessing that his sprint is full. Yeah, his sprint is full, so that's good. I don't really need to worry about getting his sprint charged. I, it's, it's glitching just a teeny bit, so this isn't the best if it glitches. There's two horses in this race with the same color. Okay, yeah, it's really good glitching, guys. I'm so sorry. Well, there, I think he's like the same color as two other horses in this race. That's really weird. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and it's really glitching. He's in seven. Okay, now it stopped. Okay, that's good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sprint. And I really am gonna sprint this time because, guys, I don't know what's going on. It's Okay, there we go. I am now sprinting, and that was really stupid because I forgot to sprint again. Okay, guys, this usually does not happen to me, but for some reason, it's not letting me sprint. So, I'm going to see what's wrong and then continue on. He might get to level up anyway and won't have to do this race again, but I would have still liked to be in first place just because I could get more rewards and more things like that. Okay, so I am going to watch this because I do want some more um, feed to get um, a breeding horse ready. Okay, so that was a really short ad, so that's good. And I'm going to go now get that. I secured the sponsor, so that's awesome as well. Yeah, he leveled up, and he is a level 3 horse, so he should do pretty well. I don't really know what happened there, but that's okay. I realize, like, sometimes you lose, sometimes you win. Alright, so my homestead it almost needs collect it, but I'm going to wait, and I'm going to go to my stables, and I'm going to see if I can breed now, now that I have a little bit more. And then I might train him, because I would really love to train him to get him upgraded and then maybe race again. But my daily routine is just to see kind of who needs race, who needs upgraded, can I breed, can I add to full stalls, what needs upgraded, completing goals, stuff like that. Basically I'm all over the game every day. So I have a tier 5 breeding stall which is pretty good. Okay I'm still out of speed. I don't know what's wrong, um, and I would have to pay 120 to get more. 
I thought I had enough, but I'm not really sure. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the market and maybe try to win it with my market video, my free market video. If I can, I don't know if I will be able to. Yeah, here we go. So I can collect a free sample. This video is 15 seconds. And then I can collect a free sample. I really don't like watching ads that often, but if I can get a free sample, then I will watch an ad. Okay, so my free sample. I really want to breed that horse today, so I'm going to try really hard to make sure I can. Okay, standard check. That's not bad, but I would have liked what I needed. It's okay. Um, I'm probably going to go ahead and race some more or train to get more. I really don't know what to ha is going on. I would really like to breed with that horse, and now I might not be able to because I don't have enough, but it's totally fine. I can probably breed. I could breed with maximum minute, but I really like that horse. Like, I don't have to breed with that horse, just that that horse needs up certain stuff, and I don't know. I, don't, I might not have it. So, I'm going to go ahead and train, and then maybe race again. We'll see. Let's see if she even needs train. Yeah. Okay, so I can't even train maximum minute because I'm out of that too. So a lot of stuff I'm out of. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, so everything I'm out of. So I'm going to go ahead and go back and see if I can race. And then we'll see what happens after that. Alright guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and race. But before I do, I have a question for you guys. If you have the answer, if you could please put it in the comments down below, that would be great because I really have been wondering this. The horse that is standing there, like up front, is that like, she's my best horse. Is, is the best horse always stand up there? Or can I put a different horse up there to stand up there? Like, why is she always up there? I was just wondering why she's standing there when there are six other horses that could be. Why don't they, like, switch out? I don't know. I was just wondering. It's not a very important question, but it's a question, right? So I'm going to go ahead and race again. And then hopefully maybe get to do the breeding. I'm not going to enter Three Oaks. I'm not going to enter Spell Meadows. I'm not going to enter Parsons. I'm going to enter... The next one after, it's glitching, I'm so sorry guys. Okay, so no three oaks, no swell meadows. I might enter Parsons, I don't know. Okay, so I might enter this one, Yarana Park, but I'm not sure. I don't think so, I'm gonna enter Parsons second race and see how well i'm gonna race delightful descendants because she is my best one and i don't think any of the other ones will win i don't even think they can enter yeah she's the only one that can enter so i'm gonna go ahead and select her and ride her and then see how, what happens she actually gets a pretty good starting number for some odd reason maybe it's because she's so leveled up i'm not really sure but i think it is so, she gets a really good starting number usually. Don't make me lie, please. <laughs> I really hope she still gets one. It takes a while to get your starting number. Alright, so she got one! I told you guys, so she does get a start good starting number. Which one is the best you can get, so that's awesome. I really do think it's because her level, I don't know, I'm not sure. And I usually do really bad with that, like too late, see? So, she's in second, that's good. And she her sprint is charging, that's all that matters. Second and charging, good enough. Um, and she's on the rail, that really helps. I love being on the rail with her because she is awesome on the rail. I really do think she can speed charge on the rail faster than she could without the rail. So now my sprint is not charging. At least I'm not going to mess up you guys, and I am going to sprint as fast as I possibly can at the end because I am not going to let her lose on this big of a race. Like, this is a really big race. You're not going to find another race this big. Well, you will, but... <laughs> and they have one more race that's this big, and I haven't even raced her on it yet, so... I might do that 
on this video, you guys, or I might have a race review on my next video. So stay tuned. Also, guys, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed, hit that notification bell, and like this video. That really helps me out. So, 500 miles to go. I don't really know if that means miles. I think it means millimeters. I'm not really sure. And she is one away from full charge of her sprint. Now, I know I rely on the sprint a lot. And I know I shouldn't, but you kind of have to. You know what I mean? Alright, she's full charged and she's 50 millimeters, miles, whatever you want to call it, away from sprinting. And now it's time to sprint. Okay, so it finally lets me sprint. Finally, on the best race of all, luckily. Okay, guys, so she won, obviously. There's nobody ahead of her. I honestly don't know how many seconds she won by, but probably a lot. Probably a, probably a medium amount. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, she won by one second, which is my usual winning by a jellyfish shark. Is that is so cute. I love that name. Um, we're going to go ahead and continue. So she got a lot of money. She got two more basic sprint feeds. Basic sprint feeds. Isn't that what I need, I think? I think that's what I needed, you guys. So I'm so glad I raced this. I'm not really sure. We'll see. Um, I always look at the symbol, but maybe it's the name. You never know. I'm excited. I'm excited to see. Oh, a speed feed. I would love to. Yes, I'm going to get more. That might be it. That might be all I need. So, like I said, I only watch a video if I really need to watch a video. If not, then I would probably not watch a video. But right now, I really need to watch a video because I really need to breed that horse and get her having her full, a four level full. I would really love a four level full and get that mare ready to go. So, maybe it will be a stallion. I would really love to be my favorite horse color is dapple gray and I would really like it to be a dapple gray that's why I really want to do that with her but I'm not really sure so I'm gonna check out my breeding my full stalls and we'll see I know this video is gonna end up being so super long and I'm probably gonna have to edit parts out but I hope you guys will enjoy it this is my first viral stars racing video so it's kind of odd racing horses in front of you guys all right so as you saw i have a empty stall left over so i'm gonna see i really really hope i can breed her i really do i really want to it has a yellow i don't know guys i really hope i can breed her with him it was so oh my gosh i still need it i don't get it <laughs> You guys, I'm bad. Oh my gosh, I have been doing this this whole time. And look, I can breed with him, but I can also breed with her. Like seriously, what the heck? That is so rude. So, that's really mean and rude. But I can also breed with my regular, my full, my stallion. It's been a minute, but I don't think I want to. Because I want to breed with this one right here. Alright guys, I'm going to breed. Should I go with that mare? I don't know. I don't know you guys. I want to go with a brown like or that color. I kind of want to go with that color and that color to make it more grayish. I'm not sure. Should I? But I want a three level horse. You know what I mean? I don't want a four level horse. So I'm going to go with my three level horse. So I'm going to do it. Okay guys. I'm gonna breed. Okay, I bred, I did it, Electric Beach Binky, whatever his name is. I'm so nervous. I really don't know. Oh my gosh, I have to watch a video? Okay. Well, we're gonna watch videos because I don't like spending coins. And like I said, desperate need, desperate video, I will watch the video for all I need. Um, I've seen this video like three times over today though, so it's kind of boring. And. I don't really like watching ads anyway, so. Okay, so now we have 36 minutes. I'm gonna watch a 17 minute video to take 17 minutes away. It's not 17 minutes, guys. I would never make you guys watch that. 
Okay, I've seen this ad so many times as well. It's literally on YouTube. Okay, so I think, I really hope it turns out to be gray. More like a gray, like a charcoal gray color, which is not gray. I know I people say gray is gray, but gray is like a white horse kind of. I really, really hope though that it turns out more charcoalish gray than just white. All right, it is time for the reveal of the full. I'm so nervous. You guys, I hope it's a really cute full. I really do. Okay, here it is. Why does it take so long to load? Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh, it's a bay. It's a bay, you guys. I don't really like it. <laughs> Sorry, I will see what it looks like grown up and then we'll see. But let's go ahead and see what it looks like grown up. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the cyan. Dance Dash. I don't know, I like that. Triple Ice. Scientific Sun. Shimmer. Okay, no. Trophy Spreadsheet. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. I don't know. I just don't think I'm gonna keep it. So I don't want to pick a really nice name for it, you know what I mean? Alright guys, oh my god, it's dark, he darkened! He's actually really cute! That is so cute, but I already have a sound like that! I don't know what to do, I think I'm going to sell him. Wait, what level is he? That's the thing, is he a level 3? I was totally hoping for a level 4. Let's see what level he's at. Maybe I shouldn't have bred those two together. I wonder if the same sign's still available. Maybe I can... Yeah, he's a level 3. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and sell him. Because I don't really think I'm gonna keep him. I don't really like him, honestly. It's not the prettiest stallion or horse. So, bye. I'm sorry. He'll go to a good home. Hopefully. I really hope he does. I really hope he goes to a good home. Alright. So now it is time to breed again. <laughs> I know I've been constantly breeding. Hopefully this time will be better. Um, I really like breeding. The breeding is probably my favorite part. I play another game called Horns. You guys might have heard of it. I might do a video on that. So if you guys want me to, put a, I'll put um, put something down below. Saying you want me to. Okay, I can't breed again, which sucks. I know, but I think I'm done for today, guys. I hope you really liked this video and me playing Rival Stars. It was really fun to interact with you guys with this, and comment down below if you play Rival Stars or if you're going to go ahead and go play it now. It's a completely free game. It can actually be played on your phone. But I have a program called Blue Stocks. I'm going to collect my homestead and might do a little bit of training real quick. But I have a program called Blue Stocks that I can download any app from my phone to my computer. So I'm actually on my computer right now playing this game. So you can go on your computer and download Blue Stocks and play this game as well. But Blue Stocks is completely free as well. Same with Oh my gosh, I got standard grain. I think that's what I needed to breed again. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna see if I can breed. This video might get a little longer. Oh my gosh, I clicked great. I don't like clicking. Right here. Okay, guys, I might be able to breed. I might actually be able to breed, you guys. I am so excited if I get to be able to breed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, if I get to breed, I'm gonna like literally. I really hope I can breed. I think I got it. I think that was it. I'm so excited. Yay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I can breed. Okay guys, so who do you think I should breed? I'm gonna breed Absolute Courage. Because I don't care. Or no, Major Sunbeam. I'm gonna breed these. Okay, I breed it, I bred it, I did it, I did it. We're gonna have to watch some more videos though. This is getting really long. I know guys, I'm so sorry. Should I just pay? I'm gonna pay. 
I paid you guys. I paid. Oh my gosh. All right. Are you ready to see this mare? I really. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, I love it. Jolly's Jelly. I'm gonna name her Jellico. And the thing is, I'm naming her Jellico because I am, there is a horse at the barn. I ride at, actually ride night online, you know what I mean? And her name's Jellico, she's amazing. I love her so much. And I really hope she's beautiful. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I love her. She's so gorgeous. I love that coat. That is so pretty. I would have rather had a gray, but she is beautiful just the way she is. And I cannot wait to see how she races. All right, guys. Now I'm done. I cannot breed anymore, I don't think. So I don't, I need to pay for another stall if I would. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I need to train, and then collect my payout again, or my homestead again, and see. I know this video got so much longer than I was actually supposed to be. I'm so sorry, guys. You don't have to watch it all if you don't want to. I would really appreciate it if you did, though. Okay, guys, so I don't think I can train anymore because I don't have the attack thing. That I need so I'm gonna go ahead and collect my homestead and then be done so thanks you guys for watching this was an awesome opportunity to let you guys see what I go through in rival stars um, it was really exciting to do this with you guys and I hope you enjoyed have an awesome oh look what I get every time I do this now I can go train a horse for like five minutes let me go train um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time. I will be probably doing a horns video next. If you don't know what horns is, it's a breeding game that is super awesome and I love so much. It's amazing. Literally amazing. So now that I'm done training, this video is officially over. Thank you guys so much for playing with me and I hope you enjoyed. Bye guys, say bye to Delightful Descendants. I don't know why she's up there, but can you tell me in the comments? Alright, bye guys. <laughs>